Hello. So with this talk, I want to shed light on um, some issues that occur when um, using container images for data analysis. So of course, containers are um, a great utility to obtain a reproducible data analysis by allowing you to encapsulate the required software environments for the data analysis uh, into them, into a reproducible environment. Um, with modern data analysis having a lot of heterogeneous steps, um, in an ideal world, one would define the uh, minimum required software stack for, for each of those steps. Now, um, one could start building containers for all of those steps uh, and then use them for reproducibly execu execute the data analysis. However, such kind of an approach has some issues and um, most importantly, this is uh, an overhead of crafting all those container images, which is currently still kind of a manual um, step in most of the cases. And um, second, you end up with an explosion of image variants. Imagine that hundreds to thousands of uh, data scientists all over the world probably use similar tools, but still have maybe slightly different container setups. Um, so these are kind of the two two things, like building those images and second, um, actually um, avoiding to build those images if they are already available. In this part of, the, of my talk, I want to um, focus on the build overhead. So crafting those images and doing all those steps manually is, is kind of a lot of work. Um, and therefore people kind of fear it in practice leading to workarounds. One workaround you often see is not using containers. So you can, of course, use just plain package managers or not deploy the software at all automatically, which, of course, hampers reproducibility. Um, always like an, a container, using a container is always better than like defining a, a package manager environment because with a container you can fix everything down to the to the system libraries, whereas with package managers you basically just um, fix the user space packages. Uh, second workaround is not having fine-grained containers, but one large container for the entire analysis. This, however, hampers transparency because you cannot see any more directly for each step of the analysis what software what was actually used. Instead, you get like a full union of all the required software tools, which is uh, less transparent and therefore not, not so um, um, sustainable anymore. Okay, so how can we make this situation better? Uh, we can, in, in a sense, use some something that is already used for one of the workarounds um, quite abundantly, which is like not taking the container directly, but rather first looking at something else, which is package management. And the, the advantage of package management is, of course, that you have like one entity for each software and you can combine them arbitrarily and in a very fast way. One such package manager is the Conda package manager, which has uh, the benefits of being language agnostic, uh, having already thousands uh, of available packages from all fields of uh, data science in particular, and therefore it has been um, matured to be kind of this de facto standard in data sciences nowadays. Uh, when not using containers. So people either use Conda or containers in a sense or a combination of them, which is kind of what, what I want to propose. Um, so um, ideally we would, we would have a situation where we can start with a Conda environment where we specify the software that we actually need. And um, from there we could ideally build automatically a container that contains each of these software dependencies um, as a separate layer, ideally, and um, by that saving build time and also storage space um, among different containers that only provide slightly different variants or combinations of the Conda packages the, we have before. So this would be a nice like service that could be provided um, or a nice tool that uh, could be provided in a sense that we can get a container out of a Conda environment. Of course, this is not limited to Conda itself. One could easily generalize this principle for, for arbitrary package managers. So something that does not require you to write a Docker file, but instead lets you just write down what software you need, in which versions, and then gives you a container automatically um, that is layered and uh, properly reusing uh, artifacts used in other contexts. contexts. Thank you.